17 December 2010, Mohamed Bouazizi immolated himself after the authorities had confiscated his merchandise as a street vendor. It started the Tunisian Revolution. It was also the start of the Arab Spring in different countries. After four weeks of peaceful protest and unsuccessful repression, dictator Ben Ali fled to Saudi Arabia. Tunisia is today the only democratic remainder of the Arab Spring. But the transition to a stable democracy is not easy. The economic situation is not good and millions of young people are in despair. The necessary reform of the state apparatus and especially of the police encounters many resistances. The opening up of civil society to pluralism needs to be supported by a cultural revolution. Madame Sihem Ben Zidrin is one of the heroines in the ongoing struggle for democracy, freedom of the press and human rights. After her studies in philosophy, she entered in journalism and publishing, always in opposition to dictatorship. From 1998 onwards, she became one of the main spokespersons of the struggle for human rights and the freedom of press. In 2001, while in prison, she got a special award for human rights journalism under threat by Amnesty International. In 2011, she received the Alison de Forges Award by Human Rights Watch in recognition of her 20 years working to expose human rights violations under former Tunisian President Ben Ali. The award celebrates the valor of individuals who put their lives on the line to protect the dignity and rights of others. Since 2014, she is the head of the Truth and Dignity Commission, which is a special constitutional commission for hearing testimonies of victims of state repression between 1955 and 2011. Madame Benzidrin deserves to become a Dr. Honoris Causa of our Brussels Free Universities because she symbolizes in real life the essential inspiration of our academic mission. It is also a message to the European Union, its member states and our own authorities. There is much to do about democracy and our fundamental values to legitimize war and military interventions. There is much less campaigning to sustain democratic transitions that need help and investment in economic activity, public service, and culture and education. Democracy, ladies and gentlemen, is never established. It has to be made every day. May this award also inspire civic awareness and responsibility. The cause of democracy, human rights, and freedom needs our support, not only in wording, but also in deeds and money. Sihem, c'est un grand honneur pour moi de pouvoir être votre proximus dans cette cérémonie et je suis reconnaissant envers nos universités de la libre pensée de vous mettre dans cette longue lignée de docteur honoris causa qui comporte Nelson Mandela, Salvador Allende, Simone Weil, Nawal El Sadawi, Angela Davis, et en dernier, Christian Taubira and Ken Loach. Félicitations. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's applaud CM Ben Cedrin, Dr. Honoris Causa of VUB and ULB.
So in the box are two diplomas and uh, two medals of the two Brussels universities. Maybe let's step forward for the photographers. So we will uh, take some pictures now. So thank you. Thank you, CM Benzedrin, and congratulations.